Hello, I'm, ugh, my throat is already sore <laughs> and torn up because I, I haven't talked this much in a while, in a while. So now for the links and the books that you need to get, okay, first and foremost, get Alien Interview, all right, uh, based on documents provided by Matilda O'Donnell McElroy, edit, edited by Lawrence R. Spencer. Get this. All right, get this. So, and I would give the ISBN, but I've noticed that no matter all the books in the past, and these were art books, the ISBN numbers that I was giving out in the past, those books would mysteriously suddenly be taken off the market and you couldn't even get like back copies. You couldn't get copies of them anywhere. So I'm not going to give the ISBN for this, but there you go. Make sure to get this book this is backwards in the camera hopefully this will be forwards but it's alien interview based on documents provided by m-a-t-i-l-d-a -A matilda o dash d-o-n-n-e-l-l o'donnell m-a-c mac e-l-r-o-y elroy edited by lawrence L A W R E N C E Lawrence R R with a period Spencer S P E N C E R Spencer. He's also author of the Oz factors. I want to get my hands on that if I ever can. Also author of the Oz factors. So get that. That book is the most important book. It proves me correct. It's one of the most important reads you will ever have in your life. Get your hands on that. Get your hands on And I strongly suggest also getting, now I don't particularly like this one so much compared to the first one, but yeah, whatever. It makes me wish that he would have published the other things that he had been sent instead of dumping them because I really wanted to see the other things that he didn't trust or believe. But this one, um, you can't really make it out very much. You can't make it out too well. And hopefully this won't be backwards, you know, because for me right now, this is backwards in the camera. So hopefully this will straighten itself out. But the Domain Expeditionary Force Rescue Mission. And Expeditionary is E X P E D. I T I can't I can't even make that out. Either way, look up look up how to spell expeditionary. It looks like the traditional spelling. Expeditionary force, F O R C E, rescue mission, a science fiction story written by Lawrence R Spencer, all right? Based on top secret transcripts published in the book. Okay, alien interview. So, there you go. There you go. Get this book, all right? Also by Lawrence R. R. Spencer. And, you know, go ahead. Write me off as trying to sell something. I'm more than fine with that because I need this video to stay up. And I'm more than happy to plug this author's work. So, and I'm not getting any money from this. This is not helping me financially. I don't know this guy. I do like these books. Buy these books, all right? However you have to get your hand, buy them. If you can download them for free online, do it. Get your hands on these books, especially Alien Interview. Get your hands on them. Unedited copies. Now, the other thing I will strongly suggest, if, if you haven't gotten into any of this stuff before, a good place to start is, uh, oh, what, what was her name? I literally, uh, Dolores Cannon. Just, just dive headfirst into, into Dolores Cannon. If you haven't gotten into any of this quote freaky unquote stuff before she has so many different books published i mean she goes from ghosts to past lives to uh to uh i mean she was doing hypnotism she does aliens she does notre dame she's fun she she is really fun she's really it is a long and difficult read you know her stuff is very dry and very boring to read but it's it's not boring if you're into this stuff so i don't i don't know i don't know uh so try her stuff out i personally 
I liked her stuff to begin with, but then it just wasn't hitting me right. Uh, I liked uh, Abraham Hicks stuff to begin with, and then it just wasn't hitting me right. And that's how I, you know, you know, that's how I ended up into everything else. But the other thing that you need to do is get this. The Silva Mind Control Method by Jose Silva. All right. Get this book. And same thing as like the other one. If you can get a free copy online and download it, do it. You know, do what you have to do. The Sylvia Mind Control Method. The revolutionary program by the founder of the world's most famous mind control course, Jose, J-O-S-E, Silva, S-I-L-V-A, Silva, and Philip Mealy? Philip is spelled P-H-I-L-I-P, -I -I so there's no two L's in there, M-I-E-L-E, -E. Miley, Mealy, get this book, learn how to meditate. And now this is the other thing I'm going to strongly suggest to you. A lot of people speak against this, just like Ouija boards, but it's safe, it's good, and it's a good idea. Learn how to astral project. This book, if you go through it all, and if you really do it, you will start figuring out how to astral project via this book. If you use this book like Dolores Cannon initially used hypnotism, all you're going to do is learn how to put yourself to sleep and get a good night's sleep and be able to meditate. If you use this book just for, you know, superficially, you know, this, this really, and by the way, this also, this book is really good for mental illness. They actually found out that it actually cures, you know, what society has been calling mental illness. This is really good for mental illness. It, it, it calms your mind down, just like meditation, because this is meditation. Meditation can very much heal mental illness. It can get the scattered, chaotic mind to calm down, to focus on one thing at a time, to ignore all the distractions. It can get you, it, it really helps ADHD people. It helps you to uh, focus on one task at hand. It helps you to actually finish what you're trying to finish before you move on to another task. You know, it just, it helps. It helps a lot. And, you know, this is literally, I couldn't meditate for the life of me. It did not work, period. It was never going to work. I gave up on it. And then I found this book and this allowed me to meditate. And if you take the things in this book and you push them further, you can figure out on your own how to astral project. And that is the other thing that I strongly suggest for you to do. Start astral projecting. Do it, do it, do it. Astral project, okay? That is so important. You need to get your own personal answers for yourself and not rely on other spirits to get it for you because you don't know what those other spirits are. But if you can astral project, you are your own spirit and you are personally getting this information for yourself. You're not relying on other entities to get it to you. You're not locked in your body. When you astral project, you will go out. It's like going to the grocery store. If you're out of water, if you're out of bread, if you're out of milk, if you're out of eggs, you can't sit there and say, you know, nowadays we have the luck of being able to say, hey, you know, you know, what is it? You know, Walmart, Kroger, whatever, you know, what is that grocery cart thing? You know, Instacart, you know, say, bring me some eggs. I, I haven't got time today. Just bring me some eggs. Bring me some milk. I, you know, I need bread. Oh, I'm out of water. Just bring me some eggs, you know, bring me my groceries. Expecting spirits to bring you answers is kind of like doing that except it's nowhere near as good or reliable. You don't know. You don't know where those eggs have been. You don't know if they've been sitting out in someone's car rotting away for who knows how long. So you don't know if they're going to make you sick. You don't know if that milk has curdled to the point of not being edible anymore. You know, if you let it go a little bit longer, you might be able to turn it into cheese and something that's a little edible later on, if you're lucky, if it doesn't mold all the crap, but you don't, you don't know. And so that's what it's like relying on other spirits. The best thing you can do is to astral project and get the info for yourself. 
I'll go on to the next video. 10 minute. Gotta cut it. Bye.